Hi, Ward Bell here for JavaScript Client with a short video showing you how to explore and share your JavaScript code with a great tool called JS Fiddle. JS Fiddle is on the web at jsfiddle.net where you can get a free account like I have here. There are four panels, a panel for HTML, for CSS, for JavaScript, and a results panel display output. Let's uh, put in a paragraph in an unordered list container. We run it and we get what we expect in a big ugly font. Let's add some CSS to make it prettier. We'll resize the results panel. Run it again. That's better. Time for our JavaScript. Say a function to dump some text to screen. It uh, finds the element ID and then it injects the text between the line item tags. We try it out now with, uh, I don't know, dump this thing. We run it, and we get it. Good. Now let's uh, dump this really complex calculation and run again. Cool. Now suppose that, as usual, I forget the method name and enter it as get by ID. I run, and it fails, no results, except that I don't know why. It looks right to me. So I hit F12 to see the developer tools, which tell me the document doesn't have a get by ID. I'm in the console window and there's a link that'll take me to the error and there's my script and I clicked enter a breakpoint and I uh, run it again and it breaks on my breakpoint and I open up the console window because I don't know what the method name actually is I start typing document and I get something like IntelliSense here that tells me it's get element by ID and I might as well finish it out and I see that I'm getting the element I'm expecting. So I clear the console and I let it run to completion which causes it to fail again. I clear the breakpoints. See there it is. I'll clear the console again. And I close that up and now I fix my code. Say element by ID like I should and I run it and I'm back. I'm used to jQuery which is why I made that error. I can tell JS Fiddle to load the jQuery framework instead of the default Moo tools with this drop down. And I can also tell it to run my JavaScript after the page has been loaded with on DOM ready. Now I'm ready to replace my direct DOM manipulation with the jQuery dollar sign. And I'll make the selector use the hash there so it goes after the ID. And then I'll replace this inner HTML property with jQuery's append method. And now I'll also change the calculation so that we see I'm really actually doing something. And I run it. Ta-da! Now I'm going to reset this fiddle. Clear everything out. Because I want to show you that you can also preload another library. Any library. Including your own. By adding it as a JavaScript or CSS resource. In this case we're going to GitHub for Knockout. A popular MVVM library. We find the specific download and copy the link. Go back to our fiddle, paste in this link to Knockout, and click plus or just enter. See, it's listed, and I could add more, but I won't. Now let's write a super basic Knockout example. First, the HTML, a title paragraph, a name label, and a text box with a Knockout data bind attribute that will bind the text box to a view model name property. I'm not going to explain Knockout in depth, just a little, so please just roll with it. Again, some CSS to make it look better. Run it. We get the title and an empty text box because we're not binding yet. Here's our view model with the observable name property initialized with my name. Notice that the name property corresponds to the name property mentioned in the binding up in the HTML. Then we tell uh, Knockout to apply the binding to connect the dots and we run it and my name shows up in the text box thanks to the binding. And if I replace it with Bob and tab out, the new value updates the view model, although we can't see it in this example. I'm so proud of this work that I like to save it and share it with others. First I go to Intro and give it a title and a description. And then I go and click Save. And uh, JS Fiddle registers it under my account at this funky address. I want to click the Share button, which is hiding because my browser zoomed in. But I, I can click it. 
And I can see I've got lots of links of various kinds. I can embed this one on my blog, or tweet it, or I could just grab this and uh, email it to a friend, or go to this tab page here and paste it in, and there it is. Uh, let me zoom in to 100% for a second so that I can click my account button and go to my dashboard where you can see it at the top there amidst my other saved fiddles. And if I click it, I'm ready to play with my saved fiddle in a new browser window. JS Fiddle is a great way to create interactive tutorials, as Ryan Niemeyer has done in spectacular fashion on his Knock Me Out website. Here's the simplest of his examples, a knockout hello world that takes my trivial example to the next level. This has a first and a last name and a computed full name property that combines the two. If I change the first name, tab out, and the full name updates automatically. That's the nickel tour of JS Fiddle, which I think is an indispensable tool for exploring ideas in JavaScript and sharing them with others. Thanks for watching, and check us out at javascriptclient.com.